So yesterday, Apple announced their new M1 Pro and M1 Max chips, along with their 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. But something in their presentation really caught my attention. In Final Cut Pro, video analysis for the new object tracking feature is up to five times faster. So wait a minute, Final Cut Pro now has object tracking built in? Yes, they do. Let's get into it. Apple just released a new update to Final Cut Pro version 10.6. Now the new exciting feature in 10.6 is object tracking. Object tracking is the process of locating and tracking an object over time in a video. With this, you can do a lot of exciting new uh, kind of effects uh, related to object tracking. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech, everyday tech for everyday people. And in this channel, I talk about everything tech. I do gear reviews, talk about software. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the new feature of object tracking in Final Cut Pro. To do object tracking before this update required a third party plugin. I personally use Pixel Film Studio's Auto Tracker, and it did require a lot of horsepower. So when I had my Intel Max with the built-in graphics, I actually needed an eGPU. And when the M1 Max came out, they did not have an update for a very long time. And only recently they did an update to their uh, plugin. But now that Apple has released 10.6, uh, I probably don't need that plugin anymore. I don't need to pay for another plugin or pay for an update to a plugin. I can just use the built-in object tracker. So I'm gonna go through different ways or some examples of how you can use the auto tracker and how easy it is to use. So here we are in Final Cut Pro and the easiest way to get started with this object tracking is to drag and drop something in from your titles and generators tab here. Let's go with the very simple, let's say custom 3D uh, text here. And what you can do is just drag and drop it into your timeline here. So let's drag and drop this and you can drag and drop. And as you can see, it automatically tries to look for different objects in your scene here. And here what it sees is my forehead as an object, but what it does is it uses artificial intelligence to look for the different objects. And here it finds my face. So let's go ahead and drag and drop that here. But we're not done yet. What we need to do is hit the analyze button. And what it'll do is it'll analyze forward and analyze backwards after this. And as you'll see, it's trying to analyze the entire clip. Now, if you only want to analyze a certain part of this clip, you can go ahead and hit stop when it goes far enough. But here we're just analyzing the entire clip here. So if you have a very long clip, this can take a very long time. But now that we have that analyzed, as we can see, if I hit play Final here. Final Cut Pro now has object tracking built in. Yes, they do. Let's so now we have something that is being tracked. Of course, we can go into here. We can change this. We can move this around if we wanted to. Uh, we can go into transform and just kind of adjust the size of this and just do different things that we need to do. So if we go ahead and play this Cut out. Pro now has object tracking built in. Yes, they do. And that's really the easiest way to get started with the tracking. Another way you can do it is just add the tracker to the object itself first and then add, attach something to that tracking. So we're gonna select our intro video here and under the video inspector, you're gonna go all the way to the bottom and there's something now called trackers. And we can add a tracker here and you'll see that there is this box here Now we could put it around the object that we're trying to track. Again, we're gonna use my face here. If we wanted to, we can round out, round out the corners here. Then we can also rotate it with, uh, with this button here or this little dot there. And then we can just hit the tracking and go, hit, go ahead and hit analyze. And it automatically tracks the rotation and it automatically tracks the movement of the object, which happens to be my face here. Now that we finished the analysis on this video, let's add something to this tracker to, to attach to it. Let's do a simple text here. And I can do control T to add a simple title here. And let me go ahead and move this title to the black so we can see it. And before we attach this to the title, let me go back into this clip here, go down to the tracking and let's rename this object track to Patrick track. 
and you'll see why later why we need to why I want to do this so let's go back into our tracking here let's go click on the transform button and here on the drop down menu we can go ahead and tr attach or choose the tracking source and I just renamed it to Patrick sort Patrick track so that way it's easy to find what you want to track and there you go now we have the text following the tracking and as you can see it's rotating and a lot of times in text object tracking or if you attach a text to object an object using object tracking you don't want to do the rotation actually because it's hard to kind of follow along it's a little bit distracting so what we can do is this let's go and select the text Let's go into our video inspector. Under the transform, you're gonna click on this little box here. And here we can choose what we're tracking. And sometimes we wanna do the scale, uh, rotation. P position is usually the one that we wanna do. So let's uncheck the rotation here. And here now it's following it without rotating it. Now it rotated a little bit because it's where, where it started. The tracking started here and it was a little bit rotated. So what we can do is go into the transform and let's just take out the rotation. And now we have a straight tracking of the title. Not only can you attach text to a, a object tracker, but you can also attach images. So let's do the pair of glasses or sunglasses that I had in the intro here. And we're gonna go ahead and drag this into our viewer here. And we're gonna use Apple's artificial intelligence to kind of find the face here. So let's go ahead and drag that drop there. So now it's analyzing and, and it finds my face here. Now again, let's not worry about the size and rotation here. Let's go ahead and do the uh, analyzing here. And I'll speed this up right now. And I didn't analyze the whole thing, but we can see that now it's following or tracking that entire face now. But of course, it's not the right size and it's not rotated the right way. So let's go ahead and do, click on the transform here. Let's go ahead and put this at the right size. Let's try to get it at the right rotation here. And here we go. Now let's play this and let's see how this goes. Oh, has object tracking built in? Yes, they do. Let's get into it. And now we can go in the timeline and just say, where do we want that to start? Because the, this part of the video has already been tracked or analyzed, so we can just attach that in any place. So let's see if this works. Yes, they do. Let's get into it. it was next up. And then here, of course, we can go into our object and move it around if it's a little bit off. Not only can you attach an object to a tracker, you can do video effects and attach those two trackers. So let's say I wanna pixelate and hide the, the identity of this face in this video here. So let's go ahead and pull up our pixelate effect here. And normally we just drag and drop it onto the clip here and that'll pixelate the entire thing. But we can, what we can do is just drag and drop it onto the face here using Apple's artificial intelligence algorithm here. We're gonna go ahead and click Analyze. Now, of course, you can already attach this to an existing tracker, but here I'm just gonna attach it to the face and do the analysis right now. And that way it'll automatically do the masking. It'll automatically do the tracking of movement and rotation here. So now that we have our object tracked here, we can go ahead and change our pixelate value here. Let's say well, I just wanna really hide my face here and now my entire face is pixelated here and my identity has been hidden. So wait a minute, Final Cut Pro now has object tracking built in? Yes, they do. Let's get into it. I feel using the object tracker is really good with smooth motions or smooth pannings. So here I have a video clip of my Rode pod mic here and I'm just kind of panning here a little bit. Not too much movement up and down, but I'm gonna go ahead and attach an object to it or a generator to it. So I have something here called Simple Movie Video Making. It's a really a call out. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this. And I'm gonna to try to find the object, find my mic there, and go ahead and do the analysis here. Okay, now that I've done the analysis here, of course the clip is a, bit, a little bit longer, or the generator is a little bit longer than the clip, but you can find a longer clip to attach it to it. 
But here we have the callout, and you can see the callout is all the way over there. So what I want to do is just kind of move this callout, maybe attach it right there. And now we're going to have a pretty cool effect as far as calling out the pod mic and labeling it here. So that works pretty well. So this has been a quick video on the Final Cut Pro 10.6 update. I'm interested to see what you Final Cut Pro users will do with it. Now some examples of what people do, they put objects on walls that aren't there. They label streets uh, on drone shots They put by putting the name of the street right on the street itself. Anyway, there's a lot of creative things you can do. If you like this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.